Two things, folks, and then something serious. Luke Littler and Mr. Bates versus the post office. Where would we have been the last three or four weeks without those? We've had two weeks of wall-to-wall Luke Littler coverage. When you turn on the news stations early on in the morning, BBC News, The Breakfast News and GMB, all it's been is Luke Littler. It's been absolutely non-stop. They've gone to him four to six times in every single show. Then, as the World Championship comes and goes, we get Mr Bates versus the post office. It's on everything, all the time. And a meme wall to all this one, even more so than Luke Littler. It's unbelievable, man. Tell you what, if it weren't for those two stories, I don't think they have anything to report. They might as well have closed down for three or four weeks. Anyway, latest story comes out today. I don't know if you've heard this one. That the post office were rewarding people with bonuses for having people go to court and get successful prosecution. So if you got people banged in jail, that very man did no wrong at all, you got them banged in jail, you got an extra bit of wedge on top of your wedges, you got a nice nice little bonus there. So they're robbing money off people that haven't got it, they saying they owe the post office, they're taking the life savings or making them remortgage houses and whatever else and taking it all in, adding to the coffers, giving them more money to pay the CEOs with their new bonuses, and then what they're doing, it's a full circle list, then what they're doing is they're prosecuting those people that never nicked money, but that they say they did, and the people that never nicked it are giving it them back, but they've never had it to start with. And then what they're doing, what they've, what they've given the post office back, the post office are giving some of that back to their own workers for getting them nicked and getting them put in jail. You couldn't, you couldn't work it out, could you? You couldn't write it, you couldn't make that up. You couldn't make that up. Obviously, the people making the documentary, the series, the documentary, the drama, wouldn't be aware of all that then. Otherwise, that would have gone in as well. Can you believe it? It's just, it does beg a belief. And I tell you what, the more and more I hear, the more and more I think, not only should they get all their money back of her, as we said yesterday, but what they should be doing is, they should be going for the post office for absolutely everything. They should, honestly. And if the post office can't afford it, never mind the taxpayers, go for this, is it for Jitsu? I bet the Chinese, I don't know where they're from, but they've got hundreds of millions of pounds and whatever else. Go for them and it's them really, really hard. It's just unbelievable. How on earth can you give somebody a bonus for throwing somebody in jail? It, it, it's just contemptible. The old, the old thought of it is bad to start with, but you're giving them bonuses for putting innocent people in jail. And you're giving bonuses for them putting innocent people in jail when the big wigs at the post office know that the shortfalls aren't the fault of the postmasters, they know they've got dodgy equipment. Because that many people are ringing them up, telling them these problems, and they say to that many people, it's only you, it's nobody else. Surely when it gets past four or five people, when you've never had issues before with the level of accounting that you've got now, surely after four or five people, you know it's more than just the people robbing money. There's someone on the line, something's going wrong somewhere. And when you get it to be in hundreds as it was, there must have been a time very early on with that, this is something to do with us. This is nothing to do with postmasters. They've not all become criminals amongst them at all. They've not had a, they've not took the criminal pill where they are where they all decide to rob off the post office. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean it's no wonder it's in the news all the time, but I still will maintain without it we'd have nothing to report.